That was actually a very interesting study from the University of Manchester where they looked at a cohort of patients, both BRCA1 positive as well as BRCA2 positive. And what they found, especially in the BRCA2 patient family history where the testing was actually negative, they had up to a four-fold increase in the risk of breast cancer. So the question that was raised is, are there other SNPs or single nucleotide polymorphism within those specific family members that were not identified at this point in time, meaning we do not know about them? So that could be one factor. Second is, could some of these patients have had some kind of different environmental factors on top of other genetic mutations that are not yet identified that could have had impact on their increased risk in developing breast cancer. And this also led to another question, should these patients who have a strong family history but they themselves are negative for BRCA2 testing, should they have additional screening such as an MRI uh, of their breasts? So it, it's raised a lot of interesting questions, but I don't think the answers are clear as of yet. So further study is needed.